Hi guys, Andreas here, and today we're going to be doing something interesting, a little experiment with regards to colors and picture profiles. So for the last few weeks, I've been shooting with a variety of lenses and settings on the camera, trying to figure out, you know, what looks best for my skin tone, for my shooting environment, things like that. And I noticed that in the picture profiles, there are a lot of different settings. So the goal of this video is to try and figure out what each of them do and how they affect the image quality and the image look. So hopefully this helps you guys out. If it does, consider liking this video and subscribing for more content like this and let's get into it shall we okay so just so you guys know um, we're shooting on the Sony 20 millimeter f 1.8 G lens today uh, we are also shooting with a consistent white balance of 5200 Kelvin manually set uh, camera settings are set to ISO 200 f 1.8 aperture 1 50th of a shutter 4k 24 frames per second uh, standard creative style 000 and the Sony picture profile one in the a7c's camera settings uh, and what I did was I selected that picture profile and I made sure to reset it so it's got the default settings across the board out of the box so you guys can get a sense of what it looks like so this is what that looks like so what we're gonna do now is go through the menu in picture profile one uh, and change a bunch of settings and see how the image is affected so let's check it out so the first thing we're going to be touching is the black level. Now the black level has uh, 15 positive values and 15 negative values and you can also leave it at zero. So what we're going to do is starting at zero, which is the default level, we're going to go up the negative values all the way up to plus 15 to see how the image changes and then all the way down to negative 15 to see how the image changes in that sense. So here we go. So this is zero as we said. Um, then we're going to go to plus one. This is plus one black level. Uh, then we're going to go plus two plus three, plus four, plus five, plus six, plus seven, plus eight, plus nine, plus 10, plus 11, plus 12, plus 13, plus 14, and plus 15. And now going into the negatives, starting at zero once again, we are going to minus one, which is this, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six, minus seven, minus eight, minus nine, minus 10, minus 11, minus 12, minus 13, minus 14, and minus 15. So once again, now we're set to zero. And what I'm gonna do is, right now is take uh, a certain, you know, segments of that. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is take black level uh, zero, five, 10, 15, minus five, minus 10, minus 15, put them all side by side so you guys can get a sense of uh, how the image changes depending on which direction you go uh, with the black level. So moving on, let's check out the black gamma. Now, uh, caveat here, I'm not gonna be changing the color mode or the gamma. I'll do that in another video where we compare those settings to each other. Uh, I really wanna focus in on the, um, the adjustments that can be made to each of those, right? So um, the next one we're gonna be doing is black gamma. And black gamma has two settings. One is range, one is level. Uh, I totally know what each of those does, but I'm just gonna refuse to explain it. Um, no, but uh, the whole point is to figure out what they do. So range has uh, three different settings. So this is middle, which is the default setting. Uh, then we're gonna go to wide. This is wide black gamma. And the next range setting is narrow, which is this guy. Uh, I'm gonna put all three of them side by side. I don't think there's a huge difference between all of them. At least I can't see it on the, on the screen right now. Uh, you guys will have to let me know in the comments down below if you do see a difference. I don't personally think there is one. Um, but it could affect other things as we go here. So I'll leave it on middle for the next test. Next one is going to be level. Now, the level setting in the black gamma menu, again, goes positive and negative, just like the black gamma setting. So we're going from zero, which is the default setting, to plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four, plus five, plus six, and plus seven, that's the maximum that you can get. Uh, and then going back to the default of zero as a starting point, we're going to minus one, 
minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, and minus 7. Again, that's all with the range value set to middle, all that comparison. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 0 level, the plus 7 level, and the minus 7 level, all with the range set to middle, so you guys can see a comparison side by side by side of all three and see how the image is affected. Now the next setting we have is called knee. Uh, once again, I have no idea what this does. Uh, I'll put some links down below of maybe a manual or something so you guys can get, you know, read up on it if, you, if you're interested in that, but I'm more interested in the result, right? So um, going into this, there are three different settings we can set for knee. Uh, one is the mode. Um, which in mode you can either select auto or manual. The default is auto, which is what you're looking at now. Uh, then we have auto set. And within that menu, uh, menu item, we have max point, which is a percentage, and sensitivity, which by default is set to mid. We're going to start with auto set and change those settings to see how it's affected. So uh, the default setting to auto set max point is 100%. And for comparison's sake, there's five different values you can select here. So from 100, we can go to 97.5, which is this. Uh, then we have 95%, 92.5%, and 90%. And now we're back to 100%. So as usual, I'm going to put all three, uh, um, sorry, all five side by side, uh, so you can see the difference. And now when we're talking about sensitivity, which is the other setting you can change, uh, that goes from mid, this is high, and this is low. Uh, so you get a sense of what each of those does. I'll put it back to the default setting. So that's for auto set. And the next thing you have is manual set. Now manual set, you have point and slope. Uh, once again, let's just try these out and see what they do. Um, for point, the default setting is at 95%. And if we go through the menu here, we go from 95 to 97.5 to 100%, 102.5, 105, 75% is the low end, 77 .5, 80%, 82.5%, 85%, 87.5, 90, 92.5, and back to the default of 95. And the other setting you have is slope. And again, slope has positive and negative values in the menu that you can set. So from zero, we go to plus one and plus two plus three, plus four, plus five. And looking at the negative values now, we are going to minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, and minus five. So that gives you an idea for what me does, guys. The next one uh, should be a little more evident and a little more obvious on the screen in terms of what it does to the image. Uh, and that'll be saturation. So let's check out saturation. Within saturation, again, you got positive and negative values. So let's check out what they do when we modify them. So from zero, which is the default setting once again of saturation, we can go to plus one. This is plus two, plus three, plus four, plus five, plus six, plus seven, plus eight, plus nine, plus 10, plus 11, plus 12, plus 13, plus 14, plus six, 15, plus 16, plus 17, plus 18, plus 19, plus 20, plus 21, plus 22, plus 23, plus 24, plus 25, plus 26, plus 27, plus 28, plus 29, and plus 30, plus 31, and finally plus 32. So there's a lot of settings to saturation. I probably look like a Noompa Loompa right now, but let's check out the negative values next. So once again, starting from zero, we're going on the saturation setting in the picture profile to minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six, minus seven, minus eight, minus nine, minus 10, minus 11, minus 12, minus 13, 
minus 14, minus 15, minus 16, minus 17, minus 18, minus 19, minus 20, minus 21, minus 22, minus 23, minus 24, minus 25, minus 26, minus 27, minus 28, minus 29, minus 30, minus 31, and finally, minus 32. Uh, and pretty much all the color is gone from the image, so that gives you guys an idea of the range of saturation settings you can input. Uh, again, I will put the uh, extreme values, so zero, which is the default. Uh, maybe I'll throw in the plus 15 and plus 32, and then minus 15 and minus 32, so you guys can get a sense of the range of saturation you can set using this setting. So the next setting we're going to be playing around with is called color phase. So let's check out what's in the color phase menu. Uh, again, it's positive and negative values. So what we're going to do is go to the positive as usual. So the default is zero uh, of the picture profile. So then we're going to go to plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four, plus five, plus six, plus seven, and that's the highest value you can get for color phase. So let's check out the negative values now. So again, starting from zero, we're going to minus one of color phase, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six, and minus seven. So what I'll do for color phase is I'll put uh, three extreme values again, the zero, the plus seven, and the minus seven, so you guys can see the difference between the three, if there is one. It didn't look like on the screen there was much difference, but Let's take a look anyways. So the next value we're gonna play with is color depth. Um, and within color depth, uh, so we have a bunch of different settings that we can play around with here. Uh, R, G, B, C, M, Y. I assume there's a K, no there's not. It goes to show you that I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. So uh, the settings we have are R, G, B, C, M, Y in color depth. Uh, and when you click on each one, uh, you have positive and negatives for each one. So um, there's a lot of different settings in this one. So what I'm going to do for color depth is take each of the individual values so the R, G, B, C, M, Y, and show you one after the other, uh, the difference of the extreme values. So from zero to the highest positive number and the lowest negative number for each one. So starting with R, uh, this would be zero. This here for R is the plus seven value. So how does the plus seven value compare to the zero? And this is the minus seven value on the R setting. So minus seven, everything else is set to zero. So just so you know, I'm only modifying the R setting here. And doing the same with G, which I assume stands for green. Let's check it out. So this is at zero. This is at plus seven for the G value, plus seven. Again, all the other values are set to zero. And this is minus seven on the G value. This is minus seven. So how does all that compare? And now we're on the B setting of color depth. So B, I would assume, stands for blue. So let's check it out. This would be the zero value, which is again, the default. This is plus seven on the B value, plus seven with everything else set to zero. And this is minus seven on the B setting, minus seven on the B setting. How does that look? Next, we have the C setting, which again, I assume stands for cyan. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong here, but uh, the C setting at zero. Here we have the C setting at plus seven. So we've switched C to plus seven now, with everything else set to zero. And this is the C value with minus seven to it. So minus seven on C with all the other colors set to zero. The second to last one is M, which probably stands for magenta, I guess. Um, so this is the zero setting on the M value, zero. This is plus seven on M. So M with a plus seven value attached to it to compare it to the zero. And finally, minus seven. This is minus seven on the M setting of color depth. And finally, the last value that we can modify in the color depth menu is Y. So this is zero for Y. Now we've bumped up Y all the way to plus seven, and I'm noticing the orange is a little punchier, so that's plus seven on Y. And finally, minus seven on Y, which has a really weird effect. So that's minus seven on Y to compare to the other two. So that's it for color depth, guys. And last but not least, we have detail. Uh, detail probably relates to sharpness and things like that, I would guess. So once we go into the detail menu, we have two different adjustments we can make. Uh, one is called level and the other is called adjust. So let's start with level. 
Now level, once again, like every other setting, we have positive and negative values, so we're going to compare all of those. Doesn't seem to be a whole lot, so I might just go through all of them and then, uh, like some of the other settings, I'll put, you know, random points throughout the range so you guys can compare. So this is zero on the level of detail. This is plus one, plus two, this is plus three on the level, plus four, plus five, plus six, and plus seven, which means I should be like super sharp now. I should be coming right into your living room. Who watches this in their living room? I don't know. Going into the negatives now, starting from this is zero once again, we're going to minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six, and finally minus seven on the detail level. So that gives you an idea of what the detail level does. Now the adjust menu uh, within the detail setting uh, has a lot of different things that you can adjust. So just reading up off the menu here, we've got mode V slash H balance, B slash W balance, limit crispening, which doesn't sound like it should be a word, but okay. Um, highlight detail. Um, so those are all the different settings we have access to within the adjust um, option in the detail setting. So if we go to mode, we basically have auto and manual. Um, I doubt anything much will change there. Um, so this is auto, this is manual, I can't imagine. It probably has to do with other settings, I would, I would guess. Uh, VH balance has positive and negative values like a lot of other things. So we're gonna start with zero on the VH balance. We're gonna go to plus one, plus two, back to zero, minus one, and minus two. So that gives you an idea if VH balance does anything. I'm not seeing a huge difference on the screen, so you guys can check it out for yourself. Now we're going to BW balance. Uh, the default setting is type three. There seems to be uh, five different types you can select here. So this is type three, which is the default. This is type four. This is type five. This is type one. And this is type two. And here are all five of the BW balances side by side by side. So you can see if there's any difference between all five. The next thing we have is limit. So the default setting for limit is seven. Uh, and it looks like it's almost at the highest, I guess, based on the scroll bar of the menu. So we're starting at seven, which is the default value, and we're gonna go down to zero. So this is zero on the limit. Um, next we have one. This is two. This is three. This is four. This is five. This is six and all the way back to seven now, which is again, the default value for limit. Crispening, I'm really curious to see what this will do. Uh, so crispening, the default value is set to zero and there's just numerical settings you can select. So from zero, we can go to one. This is two. This is three for crispening. This is four. This is five. This is six. And finally seven, which is the highest setting for crispening and back down to zero. So I'm going to take the zero value, maybe the three or four and the seven, put them side by side so you guys can get a sense of what the difference is between all of them. And finally, the last thing we have is highlight detail. By default, it is set to zero. There are four different settings. So let's check out what zero does versus this is one. This is two, this is three, and this is four. That pretty much covers the entire Picture Profile 1 settings other than um, gamma and color mode, which we'll, again, we'll cover in another video. But what did you guys think? Did this help you out uh, in the settings? I'm gonna go check out the footage and see um, if any of those adjustments helped me understand what they do and how to use them in the future in conjunction with the gamma and color modes uh, and hopefully get a better picture uh, for you guys in the future and for myself. Um, so hopefully you guys got something out of this. I hope you did. If it helped you out, once again, like the video, um, subscribe if you want more content like this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Take care.